Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math, doing another problem from the General Curriculum Math subtest number four. This is part of the Harvard Square MTEL Math Workshop series. Let's. This is for teachers to help them prepare for the General Curriculum and the 53, 47, 51, 09 MTEL Math exams. Let's look at number four on the General Curriculum Math subtest, the practice test. The mean distance from Earth to the Sun is approximately 93 million miles, or one astronomical unit AU. This distance from Neptune to the the distance from Neptune to the Sun is approximately 2.794 times 10 to the ninth miles. What is the approximate mean distance from Neptune to the Sun in astronomical units? And then they give us some answer choices: A, 30 AU; B, 300 AU; C. 3,000 AU, and D, 30,000 AU. Ah, there's a lot going on here. A couple things I want you to, to pick up here. You should notice right away that this, is, uh, this involves some, this has scientific notation in it. And you know, that's, that's just good to know. You should be able to look at this and say, I see scientific notation, so I'm going to be working with scientific notation. But there's some other things that I want you to observe too. And these are some things that sometimes we overlook. These are our keywords. In this case right here, the keywords are actually uh, words that they use in the problem that uh, lead us to, uh, uh, we can apply a strategy if we see these type of words. When you see approximately, approximately, and approximate, this is like the equivalent of someone asking you on a date three times, will you please, will you please, will you please? Well, in this case right here, the people that made this test are giving you a clue. They're essentially begging you to use estimation when you do this answer. Or at least that's what I'd like to think. So uh, when we solve this problem, let's keep that clue in mind and uh, estimate, round our numbers a little bit. Okay, back to the problem itself, scientific notation, how we would even go about approaching this problem. The first thing um, I think is helpful is to take the information and put it into a picture. So who are our main players here? We've got the Earth. I'm sorry, we've got the Sun. That's this uh, big ball. This, here's the Sun. We've got Earth. And uh, we got way out here in the far distance, we got Neptune. Now, it tells us that from Earth to the Sun, is 93 million miles. I'm going to write out the whole 93 million miles. And that that's equal to 1 AU. Okay. And then way out here so far that I'm going to have to break up my line because it's so such a gigantic number. We have this 2.794 times 10 to the ninth power distance. And we're trying to find out exactly how many AUs is that. You know what? By creating a problem where I, uh, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. By creating a problem where I had to, uh, I drew it out and I did something called a model drawing. By doing that, the act of doing the model drawing, organizing the information in the problem, helps me actually understand it and now solve it. Um, it's really important that you go through that process. So when I did this, I, I got a and I, my model helps me understand you know, the relationship of Earth to the Sun and Neptune to the Sun and gets me an idea that, you know, I know what this distance is here, 1 AU is here. Now I'm trying to figure out how many AUs I'm going to go fill in this space here. That's sort of my unknown. And the picture helps me get that idea. Well, before I do anything, um, let's deal with some of these numbers. Let's first start with uh, the 2.794 times 10 to the ninth and sort of address the scientific notation portion. Since it's telling me it wants me to approximate, what could I approximate this, this value to to make my life a lot easier? Could we say 3 times 10 to the ninth? I think that's pretty fair. I mean, we could round the 7 round to 2, and just having the 3 there, 3 to 10 to the ninth, I think makes a lot more sense. Now let's deal with the scientific notation part. 
It's 10 to the ninth, which means after the 3, after the first digit, I'm going to put 9 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now what exactly is that number? Well, this is, means you have to have a, a, a pretty good grasp of uh, place value. We got our hundreds, thousands, millions, and the three is in our billions. So this distance here is really actually three billion. So um, let me just do a quick draw again. Sun, Earth, Neptune. This distance right here we simplified to three billion. Um, we had that 93 million, but you know I'm going to say 93 million? What number could we round that to that would make our lives a lot, lot easier? Come on! Yeah, I, I know a lot of you are saying right now, we could round it to 90 million. But you know what? 90 million isn't enough. Let's make our lives easier. What if we did 100 million? 100 million, first 3 billion, we already know that for every 100 million miles we go 1 AU. So if we kept on going out here, how many 100 million miles are going to fit into 3 billion? Well, that's a division problem, isn't it? What is 3 billion divided by 100 million? Because we're trying to find out how many AUs fit into 3 billion. And then we're just going to be doing division by factors of 10. In this case, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's like dividing, by the way, 8 zeros is like dividing by, um, let's see, this would be a million. So it's like dividing this whole number by 10 million. 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a, that's a million. Two, three. Okay, so it's actually a, a 100 million. Anyways, all this could be crossed out, and what you're left is 130 over 1. So how many AUs? Approximately 30 AUs fit into this value here. And how did I do this problem by making my, um, how did I solve this problem to make my life easier? I, I rounded. I rounded because it's telling me to round. It's giving me clues. It's begging me. Remember? It's begging you to round these answers. And by doing that, I can easily get to this answer right here, or at least it will help me see this answer a little clearer. And I think these, by using these numbers here, you make your life a lot easier. You pick up the clues. You help get to the answer. There's a lot of different ways to do this problem, but I'm showing you this way. You can do it any way you want to, and when we do other um, scientific notation problems, we'll definitely um, address you know, different ways to do scientific notation division and multiplication. But for now, you could try the way that I did and see if that helps. Um, and if, we, if you didn't, let me just address this scientific notation, you know, computation portion right here. If you didn't round, to solve this, you would be rewriting this problem like we did here, but you would be adding nine spaces after the decimal. Well, that should be a four, by the way. So that would be one. The first three are already taken up by digits then the next six would be values of zero. So it would actually be 2 to 2,794,000,000 mil, 2, and all this. And you know what? I don't think that's a very nice number to work with. I like 3 billion a lot better. I hope you do too. Team, I hope you found this helpful. The answer here is A for this choice here. Check out one of the MTEL Math workshops in Harvard Square or go to GoMath. Um, dot com regarding private MTEL math tutoring. Have a great day. Keep on sending your questions. Be groovy. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.